Hopeful's mission is to work to end homelessness by providing housing, services, education, and advocacy. We like to think of it as an organization that is about serving people all along the continuum of care. When we think about supportive services, services can be some basic human needs being met, and those needs are making sure that they have food, housing and support services. And then in addition to that, it could be much more complex. It could be assistance to get behavioral health, helping somebody through addiction, through domestic violence. It's also about gaining more and more independence. The fact that people can move out of permanent supportive housing or move into housing with less supports we've always thought of ourselves first and foremost as a service provider. Then you think about the housing and the other things that, that go with it. But first and foremost, I think the most critical piece to anything we do is services. The process for people to enter into permanent supportive housing is really reliant on a system. And the system starts with, first off, were we able to do everything we could to prevent them from becoming homeless in the first place? Second, if we can't, then how can we assess them quickly for their needs in both their shelter needs immediate and then the long-term housing needs. And then it's a process of moving. People have choices. And I think that's a critical piece to permanent supportive housing is where do people want to live? And I believe that housing, while it's first and most important, I think choice is a critical piece to it as well. And engaging the person that's ultimately going to be living there and where do you want to live? Where do you see yourself being successful? Um, so that if we're not there all the time, that you can start to feel like this is home. One of the things that we've been working on a lot is we started to look at homelessness as much more about poverty. And so we started to really expand to look past just creating housing, maintaining housing, finding appropriate housing, to let's start to talk about those barriers that exist when you live in poverty and really start to do what we think we do best, which is to serve people and to be creative with solutions. And part of that is we don't look at ourselves as a geographic organization. We are only in Dayton. It was where is the community that can partner with us to do what we do to end homelessness. And that was really what brought us to Columbus. It was an opportunity for us to partner with such an innovative community and one of the leaders in the nations really addressing food access and food insecurity. We're also looking at workforce development opportunities. And those are the things that really, since we really started focusing on that, our growth has been tremendous. We have some very ambitious plans over the next uh, 18 months, um, both in Dayton and in Columbus. So we're kind of excited. The thing that I'm probably the most uh, struck by is the real sense of a genuine partnership with the Community Shelter Board. I've never felt like it's an organization that is um, a big brother, but much more as a partner willing to, what do, you, what do you need? They've been very sensitive to the issues of, we're new into this continuum, we're learning it, we come with ideas, and we're bringing each other along and building us up as we go. So for us, this award means a lot. You know, we're new, I say new, it's, we're, we're three to four years into to the Columbus area. For us to be recognized already as a, as a strong advocate, feels like we're doing something right and something that we're really proud of.